Hi everyone, my name is Rob Wiesenberger and I'm the Associate Curator of Contemporary Projects at the Clark. I want to say a few words about an exhibition of the artist Pia Camille that went up in February and will still be on view when the museum reopens, hopefully soon. The show is called Pia Camille Velo Revelo, which combines the Spanish words for a veil and to reveal. Pia Camille was born in Mexico City in 1980 and lives there today. She works in several media, including fabric, ceramics, and performance, and she's recently shown her drawings too. The exhibition at the Clark focuses on one material, fabric, across three locations on campus. Let's start in the Clark Center, the museum's main entrance. As you're coming down the stairs, you'll see a large piece called Telluride Tunic from 2016. I think it's beautiful on its own, but there's also a backstory. Pia is drawing a parallel here, both playful and pointed, between traditional Mexican dress and modernist American painting. This unwearable tunic borrows its title and color from the American artist Frank Stella's 1962 Telluride, a T-shaped canvas in his Copper Paintings series. Pia is toying with the idea of modernist invention by noting the similar shape and geometric patterning between Stella's painting and traditional garments like the poncho or serape. Working with a fashion designer and seamstress, she reimagined Telluride at one-to-one -one scale, using discarded cloth from a textile factory. Frank Stella is famous for saying, what you see is what you see, about his abstraction, suggesting its autonomy. But here, you might see more. Pia is grounding canonical art in everyday life, emphasizing the body, female craft, and indigenous culture in the process. Now let's look at the piece nearby, Valparaiso Cloak for three. This was also made with cast off fabric and the gradations of color in it are the result of random printing errors. These marks, which look almost painterly, contrast with Pia's reference. Again, the methodical geometry of Stella who was himself reacting against the freewheeling gesture of abstract expressionist painters like Jackson Pollock. Here too, Pia is suggesting a garment with her title, in this case, a huge cloak for three, so it's an object that also implies a performance. For the last piece, let's head to the reading room in the Manton Research Center, where Pia made a new site-specific installation for the Clark. Its title, Velo Revelo, gives the exhibition its name. Here it is being unveiled in the Mexico City workshop of Virginia Suarez, the seamstress who made it. Pia wanted to quote unquote dress our reading room with a curtain that partially covers a window of the library and creates an alcove behind it for one-to-one -one reproduction from our collection. She was fascinated by Giovanni Boldini's 1875 painting, Young Woman Crocheting. She liked that it showed craft as leisure and it's as much about the absorption and interiority of the sitter as it is about the richly handled fabrics around her. Pia wanted to take the Clark's formal, public, and institutional space and modify it to evoke intimacy, domesticity, and femininity. Stockings mix private and public, opacity and transparency, and the range of quote-unquote skin tone colors also invites questions of identity and self-presentation. There's more to say, but for now, I'll leave it there. This show will be up through January 2021, and I hope you'll come see it. Because it's in public spaces around the campus, it's also free of charge. Thanks for watching.